Well, we're looking for a lot of growth. Uh, we've had two, the last two seasons uh, have been really unacceptable in what our standards are. Uh, we, again, we have very high standards. We've been very consistent for the last 25 years, and we had a, a two and eight and a four and six season. And I don't think any of the, the kids are happy with that. The coaches aren't happy with that. And certainly the community isn't happy with it either. So we're, we're looking for the big rebound this year. What do you think your team learned from last year that, that led to that rough season? And do you think they could apply that lesson this year? Well, one thing we learned is we were <laughs> We were about two or three plays away from from being six and four instead of four and six. So we need to make sure that we finish things. Uh, the second thing is we did play a lot of underclassmen last year. All those underclassmen got quite a bit of experience. So we're kind of excited to see how that experience is going to uh, uh, foster itself on the football field this year. Now, how motiv motivated are you as a senior to try to lead these guys this year? Uh, I'm very motivated. Uh, we actually have a lot of seniors this year and everyone's real pumped about it and we're keeping the younger guys up and excited so I think it's going to be good. Now uh, what have you learned over the last couple of years that you probably didn't do that you hope to apply this year? Um, I think conditioning, you know staying in shape in the off season. I think this year me and a lot of the other older guys we did a lot more to prepare for the season which like in the earlier years we didn't realize that. And uh, Overall, do you have any like personal goals for you that you want to try to achieve this year before, um, before you graduate? I'm just trying to be more of a leader this year, be more vocal, like I said before, with the team. Just trying to get the team to do well this year.